I thought I'd take some time out this morning and just show you something I've been playing around with for the last couple of weeks. And that's to make hyperlinks from your drawing into the outside world. Now it's also available for other things, but just on this little video, I'm just going to stick to the one principle, and that's making a hyperlink from my drawing into the outside world onto the net. And the reason I want to do that is that um, I keep all my information that I ever generate these days, and I put it onto Evernote. Now Evernote's got a very nice little function that says that if you pass on a particular URL to somebody else, they can see whatever's in that folder or file. So what I've done is, and let me just bring over from my other screen, um, there's my Evernote and there's some survey notes I've made of the house that you're just looking at and it just pencil notes on it and they're two sheets and some bits and pieces on there and perhaps I want to make that available to whoever picks up this drawing and starts to use it and perhaps they say well what was in the survey notes well I can show them and what I can do is I've um, imported these as a PDF into the into Evernote and what you want to do is to go up to this little icon here. It says Notice Shared. Click on it, and the one you're interested in is Copy Share URL to Clipboard. So do that, and it says Notice Copied. Right, that's all we need to do on that, because that's now copied the unique URL for that particular folder or file on Evernote into the, into the, um, the copy system within my Mac. Now let's go back over here. I've got this drawing on here and say for instance say, there are two things I can do. One is I can put it onto the drawing itself under a class so that I can hide it away if I don't particularly want to see it. Or I can put it onto the sheet where I think it would be most important. Now I happen to have proposed house plans up here which is a sheet I've already done with all the, the house plans on it. And as you can see, I've got my nice title block up there. And I've got a space at the top there where I think I'm going to put it um, just so that people can see where it is and it's easy to use. So what I need to do is to go into this icon here, which is the Dims and Note icon, and click on it and go to, you have to scroll down to find it. It's just underneath all the Dim stuff. Go to this one, it's the Hyperlink tool. Now click on this. Now, don't forget, I'm using 2013 here, Architect. I don't think it is on 2013 um, Fundamentals. I think it's Architect and above only. But anyway, let's have a quick look and just see what we can do. What I've done now is I've clicked on that hyperlink there. And I want to go up to the tool up here. There's only one up there. And basically, what I want to do is to click onto that. And it gives me a little dialog box. Now the dialog box allows me to change the icon that will go onto the drawing, also a note, and also it will show me wherever I want to send it. Now as you can see, I've already been playing around with this this morning and I've got one set up for that. So what I'll do is I will take that off there and I'll start again. So first thing we want to do is I want to put a note up here to say exactly what it is and it'll come underneath the icon. So there we go. I can put that up there. You can put anything you like up there. Now, if I drop the second thing down, the drop box there, I can I can do one of about five things there. And what I'm interested in is open a web page. These are also other things which are reasonably good to play around with, but I'll do that more in a, in a, in a separate uh, video. What I'm concentrating on today is the open the web page because that's where my um, Evernote survey notes. Now, what I want to do is to click into that and just make sure I'm at the beginning by pressing um, escape. And I want to paste in place that information which I copied into clipboard from Evernote. And it's the unique URL for that particular item. Now, let's just go over here and let's choose a different icon. Now, the one I think I'm going to use is the little icon for the PDF that's already in there. And I think this is the one I want to see on my drawing. If I press that, it changes it, and that's all I need to do. I could put a new one in there if I wanted to, or I can edit the existing one. 
but the one that's already default is great for me. Let's stick to that. Press OK and really what I need to do is to zoom into this area here and just a simple matter, I'm going to put this down. I'll tell you what, let's do this properly. Let's go into Organize. And I'm going to make a new class called, what shall I call it? URL link icon. I could change that and do what? Let's make that visible as well because I want that visible. Let's make that visible as well. And then let's just do, yeah, let's do that is okay. Now let's just do a URL and that's the one that we're looking for. So I've got the right class and all I've got to do now is just to click where I want it and it puts it in place. And as you can see, there it is, and if I just use the uh, arrow keys just to put it into the right pointer. Now that's quite a nice little icon on my drawing, and I think that's really good. So, when I send it out, at least somebody know there will be a link on there. Now fortunately, I've tried to do this as a PDF, and it doesn't work. The link doesn't go over. And I think the simple reason is that to get it to work, you've got to click on it within the drawing itself. And there it says, there's the edit. Well, the edit just brings up the dialog box you had before. The one you're interested in is the open link. And there again, obviously within Vectorworks, there is a quick command to do it. And then just wait for it to open up. Now it's going off to find it. It's opened up Safari for me. And there it is. There's the survey, 1.3 megabytes, click on it, and there's the survey notes coming up, all ready for somebody to play with or to read. I hope that's quite interesting for you. Let's get rid of Safari and go out of it. Um, let me also show you how I can do it without having that icon, in other words, putting that in place with just text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into hyperlink again. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go new symbol and I'm going to call it survey notes. I'm going to keep that exactly as it was before but as you can see I've just got no symbol there at all at the moment I've just got that particular little icon I could change it I can go and pick up whatever I want there but for this particular one I've not put on any symbol. Now if I edit that, I can add a symbol to that and do what I like with it. But at the moment, all I want is the hyperlink text. Now I've used my spec notes um, text style to make it up in. And you can see it's only four points, which is actually, no I don't want to say this, it's actually fine. So, what I will do now is I will go on to that one. Now let's just have a quick look and just to check and see that I've got it. Yes, I've got that one. Same things as before, but this time I've got a new symbol. Well, a new symbol without a symbol in it. All I've got is text. So let's do that. And let's just put that there. And as you can see, all I've got is just text. Now, I happen to think that's just a little bit better. Now, if I was really interested, I could make that a six point. I think in Tecton and it may have just fitted up nicely with that. But there's two ways for you to put a link onto your drawings so people who open it up can find the survey notes. So um, instead of saying, oh, where's all the survey notes, going through all the file work, trying to find them out, in actual fact it's so much easier to put them into Evernote, put a, a constant URL as the link and then paste it into here and then people can find it quite easily. Now the interesting thing is also is if I do copy on that and I can take that off, and let's put that back up there so people can find it. Let's go down to the actual um, ground floor detail sheet and there's my detail sheet and let's just put that and put that there. Now maybe I want to keep that out of the drawing area there but so that can, people can find it. So it's actually on the design sheet and people can find it quite easily there just by scrolling out. Well, they would have done that anyway. And so they see that there 
they click on it, open the link and away you go. So there you go, two different ways to view it and two different ways to actually put the link onto your drawing. I think this is really, really good. and It's a great way of keeping paper out of the office and making sure that it is absolutely perfect. I hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you soon.